We heard that there were a few mantas spotted at Bikini over the last day or two, so that was why it was our choice of dive site today. Once again, this ridge runs along perpendicular to the current, and that's what causes the upwellings and brings the mantas into this area. Here you can see a lot of juvenile fish as it's early spring now and these are goldies. All the red and silver goldies that you see are the females and the occasional orange one is in fact the male. All these juveniles will be born females and later on in life when necessary they will change sex and become males. Just slightly onto the sand, there's some strange neighbors. These are garden eels, and they're very skittish little eels and very tiny. You can't approach too close because they just zoot down back into their holes. While I was waiting on the edge of this ledge today, hoping that the mantas were going to pull in and that we'd have confirmation that they were in the area. This very odd looking character came and had a look at me. This is a map puffer fish. You can see how it's using its different fins to keep it in the same position and it's just hovering over the reef and finning ever so slightly into the current. You can see there's very little use of the tail here and instead it uses pectoral fins and the dorsal fin which is pushed very far back on the body and an enlarged anal fin and between the usage of these four fins this fish is pretty much able to maneuver in any direction it pleases. The other unusual fact about this fish is its bizarre coloring and that's how it gets its name map puffer fish. It has a real collage of dots and shapes and lines. I suspect that it uses this to camouflage itself against the reef. And with that, it was time to head up to the surface. And as luck would have it, we didn't come across mantas today, but we did come across this beautiful specimen of a whale shark. This is quite a large specimen. Although it doesn't look like it's swimming particularly quickly, this whale shark was moving at quite a rate. I followed it slightly inshore and as you can see the water is becoming slightly murkier here and perhaps this is because of the increased plankton in the water and perhaps that is a reason this whale shark is swimming towards the murky or dirty water. Unfortunately we didn't come across the mantas yet again today but the plankton eaters are definitely in the area. And what an amazing experience to come across another one of these magnificent whale sharks.